Got lots of exciting stuff for you today. Obviously, we have props here. I'm with Ron Hardy, local artist, musician, and director of Playas and Playettes. Ron, thanks for being here. Well, thank you for having me. It's and great I, to yeah, have you. Yeah. Now, you and I have spoken a little bit about Playas and Playettes. I know something about it, but some of our viewers might not. Can you tell us what Playas and Playettes is and what you're doing in our community? Okay, well, Playas and Playettes was founded by me. Uh, in 1997 when I returned here from uh, living in Finland and it's a non-profit charitable educational corporation uh, our signature event was the Hope Street Back to School Jamboree I ran a, a local club and we wanted to give back so we started a jamboree giving kids school supplies and what have you and it advanced into uh, using some stuff that I've learned over the years and putting it back into the community which everyone was interested in music and wanted to be in yeah. rap, and so uh, I started a program, the Urban Music Workshop, which um, teaches kids the components about music, you know, how the business element, royalties, and all these kind of things. And we have a recording studio, so we could record them, and we put promotional packages together for them. Uh, as well, uh, we did the uh, Ledbetter Heights uh, yeah. Historic Entertainment District is what we're working on now. Yeah. We do also did a, the uh, Ledbetter Heights Music and Arts Fair. Uh, we have a program of, of a residency at uh, Central Elementary mm -hmm. teaching wider education through music participation. Okay. So Players and Players is a, is, a, is a team of artists. There are other artists that I work with that are putting giving back to the community. I love it. Yeah. Now, having been from here, I'm, I know where Ledbetter Heights is, but for viewers that might not, can you tell us kind of the area that you're speaking of and what you're doing yeah, to Ledbetter Better Heights, if maybe we could move in and tight on this model here, we might mm -hmm. be able to see it. Uh, it's... Uh, uh, right behind, from, it starts from Texas Street at the head of Texas and, and goes back uh, to uh, Pete Harris Drive mm -hmm. and it encompasses uh, down to Common, uh, Common Street. So that area right there, the old red light district, I believe yeah. is what they call oh, it. Oh yeah, where all mm -hmm. mansions are. And right. the, there's the municipal. Municipal auditorium. Of course, Pete Harris you can get to yeah. off the interstate. Yes, and the project that we're working on today uh, and want to speak about is the Ledbetter Heights Historic Entertainment District. Right. Now this district, um, yeah, it, it, uh, it's the idea that we have that to create a live work area for artists and, yeah. and, and art patrons. Now this is the master plan for... Yes, it is. This is the master, the legend for it. And uh, it, uh, it, it would be a Milam uh, down to uh, Hope to Oakland to Lawrence. Now, for many people, they know Pete Harris Cafe. Right. So, it, right. It, Pete Harris Cafe and then the, uh, the lounge there, H&H &H Lounge, which I have. Mm -hmm. And uh, back in there, we want to put a park. Now, in 1994 or three, there was a, 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 a bond issue voted on by the voters of Shreveport for a park in Ledbetter Heights. Right. And it never got completed due to various things. So we want to try to use a little bit of that uh, money there and, and develop a park here for with a stage in back of Pete Harris there and create this district. Now, here we have the Bridges McKellar Mansion. Right. It's a beautiful yeah. old mansion. And these structures here aren't there. These this are is what you're shotgun proposing. Yeah, these are in. shotgun houses that are actually across the street uh, on Lawrence okay. that we want to relocate around this mansion okay. and build like a, a place where it shops wow. businesses around this mansion. And this is a scale model yes, of I, what it's going to look that, like. That, 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 yes, it is. Uh, this is a, the Baird Foundation. They uh, helped us and uh, have been supportive of this idea to build yeah. this model. And we can get in on the model. Uh, this is the stage area. This is the... Uh, park area. Right. These are the shotgun houses. This is the Bridges McKellar Mansion. And we, uh, this is Pete Harris Cafe here. So what we want to do is uh, create um, an area, like I said, a live work area for artists. Now, and Ron, artists. I know people out there want to see what they can do to get this done. Yes. We want to get involved. We want to help. What can we do to help? Well, I think the greatest thing we can do right now is let Mayor Glover and your city councilman know Mm -hmm. that Shreveport needs an area for the arts to grow. 
uh, there's been a consensus here that, you know, when they start talking about development, they want to build something grandiose and beautiful that, but this is a place where art thrives from the bottom, right. from the underground. And there's no building, we have everything, we just need to put it all in place. Yeah. But uh, Mayor Glover, call him at 673-5050 and let him know, and you can also reach your city councilman through that number and let them know that, listen, you know, we need that kind of area. That we, mm -hmm. Right now, down in the neighborhood there, it, it's demise, basically. We have a bunch of young artists there already. We, right. We're building this. This is happening. Wow. We've got, uh, it's amazing because uh, actually, uh, Chief Campbell, yeah. one of his, uh, his secretary, uh, she came by one night. I'm like, Lee, what are you doing over here? And, you know, and she, you know, this was after he was out of office, yeah. I mean, out of the police chief. But, uh, she was over there checking the place out because her son wanted to come there. Yeah. You know, knowing the history well, of the neighborhood. We're, we're about to run out of time. Okay. But what is your website? You have a great www. website. www.playazandplayettes.org. 